Hello guys, Jagweer Singh back with another video of Master Gun 2022 and in this video we will work on making a new 3D model from scratch basically from print to program so I will show you in this one we will have two pockets instead of just one and it's going to be kind of a symmetrical part but it's going to be slightly longer just for the fact that there are going to be more complexity into it and also the operations are going to differ so this video is just about making the wireframe and converting it into a solid model then this video will have part 2 of it in which I will be showing you how to program so let's get started so I'll go to my top view I have, right now I'm in metric I will change it to imperial go to configurations convert from metric to imperial click ok now I'm in inches zoom in a bit so now I'm in good enough range to make a part of length and thickness of about 3 to 4 inches I'll go to wireframe click on rectangle make sure you anchor to center click on it expand it click anywhere else you choose the width whatever you want it to be let's say 4 and the height to be 3 there we go so it looks good this is what we want we also want to make sure that we have fillets around it because no CNC can machine perfect 90 degree so the fillet basically the radius is I'm going to keep is yeah it's 25 is good enough quarter as a radius 0.5 in diameter so now how this thing is going to work is I'm going to create two lines right in the middle basically the axis blue click second one right there green click so now I have two lines right here I'm just going to make small holes just like the same way that I, uh, that we did last time but this time it's going to be counterbores counterbore holes that I, uh, I will be making but also I will be making two pockets so what I mean by that is I'm going to offset lines separately and make another pocket out of it so I will offset entity I'll say okay I'm going to offset this line this way about 0 0.25 basically in the right center from all the sides something like that which becomes a complete piece now I will divide it into any random alternations I'm going to offset from the center to be about 0 0.125 from one side and similarly I'm going to offset other side to 0 0.25 so one side is slightly shorter than the other one now I will do the same thing I will divide and trim extra lines that I don't need oh sorry about that need that line I can trim these lines right here I don't need these lines right here I can get rid of all those extra lines if I want to keep the middle line it's all up to me but I just don't want don't need it I know that for a fact so I'm just going to trim them there we go there we go I don't need this line we can just get rid of it by just dividing it not an issue right now I'm just trying to trim extra lines this is not when what I need there we go so yeah basically we got rid of all the extra lines I'm going to click OK doing the same thing I'll go to fillet chain select both of these chains and make them 0 0.25 well I can just play with the number if I want to I'm going to keep 0 0.125 slightly smaller in terms of radii which is good enough for now and or I can just keep it the same I mean it really doesn't matter it all depends on what operations I'm going to use at the end of the day and what's going to be the tool thickness associated with it everything else so far so good now I'm going to make holes right here I'm going to again offset 0 0.125 that looks good to me I'm going to make holes right here as well 0 0.125 I think it's, it's better to have lines for now at least 
in the middle for both the axes for X and Y. I will show you why. I'm going to make a center point circle right here at the center. Click anywhere, radius could be 0 0.125. Right here, the diameter 0 0.25 looks good. If I want, I can just lock, or what I can simply do is click OK and then mirror it. Single click. You will see automatically the features will activate position mirror. I click on this axis right here. It's already showing me that okay, this is going to be it. Blue click, select both the entities and selection. Select this axis. I can see both of them are there on the other side as well. That's exactly what I want. Green check. So now I can do the same thing for this side holes as well. For this side holes, I'm going to do the same scenario. For now, I'm going to offset this line 0 0.25 and offset this line to 0 0.25 as well. Just to be on the safe side. Well, I don't need this side. I can just use this mirror it and do the same thing on the other side as well. So that's exactly I'm going to pursue. Make a hole. 0 0.125 looks good. I'm going to add, choose this and select mirror. This is going to be my mirroring plane. Now I have two. Now I select both of them and selection. Choose the axis. Now I have two of them, but they are really close. So I need to offset it a bit so I can choose this axis if I want to I have to make an axis according to whatever the distance I need to provide so it's better I just simply offset this side and make two holes right there do the same for here there you go there we go 0 0.125 and the same thing I can click OK click here well I could have just mirrored this as well by making a center line but eventually not, not a big deal got through this is what we have I also want to make a hole somewhere in the middle right here let's say I'm just going to offset before that I just want to make sure what's the distance between these two from here till here is 1.125 I got the distance so I'm just going to offset a line right here 1.125 divided by 2 right here right in the middle there we go I'm going to use circle just a random circle of 0 0.25 is good enough there we go and then what I will be doing is this one will be counter so I'm going to make center it's going to be slightly bigger I'm going to make 0 0.2 it's going to be very close to the boundary so I need to make sure about that as well well which is not that big of a deal for now to think about it I can think about it later on or I can just move it to 0 0.175 which is slightly bigger than that but not too big yeah, looks good. Zero point one seventy five. One seventy five. I can lock it and use the same feature anywhere that I want to. Here and here. Click OK. So now I have four counter counter holes that I made, and I have a pocket right here. Then what we can do is we can also make a slot if we want to. That's what I will be doing right on the other side. So I'm just trying to add as many features as possible so that it becomes kind of interesting for us to work with something special. So now we have two sides. Again I'm going to use drafting features, smart dimension just to make sure what's the distance between these two. It's one inch on dot. So the offset is going to be 
half an inch 0 0.5 right in the middle and here I will make a slot I'll go to rectangle rectangular shapes there we have up round single whichever we want to up round is basically a slot we choose a slot okay in the middle right here we choose a slot we can add a thickness and the width depending on us so I'm going to put 0 0.5 width and 1.5 in length that looks good that's going to be through all so now I can get rid of rid of all the extra lines that I don't need these are all the extra lines that are just going to be useless for me to work with now delete all the extra lines and yeah it looks good now this is something that we can work with at least to get started with I would say you can delete the middle ones as well we definitely don't need those everything else is good I'm going to save it just in case it crashes or something happens that's the same so now we can make it a solid model finally we will go to extrude I want the entire thing to be extruded and these should be through hole the smaller ones the middle one as well the small ones all small ones also the slot as well there we go I want all these to be through holes on the other side definitely I'm going to keep the thickness to be 0 0.75 3 quarter which looks good to me yeah and I'm going to add a little bit of extra thickness to these two right here and I'm going to use extrude cut for these ones cut body and it's going to be distance of 0 0.25 and yeah, it's cut body that I chose oh it's pretty deep 0 0.125 looks good one edge is good yeah that looks good enough so I have this made right now what I'm thinking is what I can also do is to have the entire thickness of this side to be more because it's going to be really simple otherwise yeah I can do the same thing here as well I'm going to cut these so instead of adding the counter or the extrude cut here I'm going to delete this one now regenerate it I have this as a model right now and I will cut them extrude these two surfaces right here and cut them to about 1 8th or I would say 0 0.125 uh, or slightly deeper yeah you know what will I do I will keep them two different thickness or, or two different depths if I would say that's going to be something cool to work with one is 0 0.125 the other one I'm going to keep it as 0 0.25 0 0.25 there we go so now I can finally keep the thickness of this one of the bigger one all the bigger ones in, indeed right here to be 0 0.25 for sure why not that looks good that's something that we can work with and also just to add a challenge of it what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this middle one as a solid I'm just going to add that as a solid yeah I'm just going to add I'm just going to offset that solid just for the sake that I just want to use it yeah I mean it looks good to me for now I'm going to save it the middle one I just want to make it solid so that I can have a little bit of a challenge as well I'm going to add some material intentionally just add this great body 
I'm just going to create till the very end, which is 0 0.75. I don't know why I even cut that body into it. I'm just going to shave that off and it's going to keep that as a portion to work around it so that it becomes a little bit of something that I know because I will eventually be able to show you guys how to do the pocket or any island finishing onto this slot anyways so I don't need to have two pockets just to show the same operation how it works so in this we are going to work with a lot of different features mainly uh, rough drills and other operations like pocket and all kind of stuff but it's going to be slightly different because of different depths that I will be working with and also it's going to be more of copy and pasting the parameters and uh, sorry copy and pasting the operations and changing the parameters relatively so stay tuned and this is the end of the first part so do not forget to subscribe and do watch the second part in which I will be continuing the programming for this part as well so thank you so much for watching take care